Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to the American Republic and Empire Total War. The year is the winter of 1845, and we're trying to put an end to all of these wars in Europe and get this series wrapped up with some hopefully global peace. The next step in that plan is, a little bit ironically, uh, besieging Stockholm, Sweden. We've been at war with Sweden for forever, like 30 years, I think. And I think it's time to put an end to that now. We outnumber Sweden by a significant amount, but they may actually have a star fort. We really have no choice though. The auto resolve for fort battles is terrible. We'll have to besiege it. Yes, indeed, we do have a fort battle here, so knowing that we are going to have some pathfinding issues, let's play it careful. I'm going to start with an artillery barrage here on the left, and just cut a hole in the wall to march through. I'll have my howitzer support with quick lime as usual. Where's the range of that howitzer? I can't seem to see it. There it is. Uh, most of the fort. At least the first third of the fort. That works for me. Now, how did I manage to select almost my entire army at once? Let's get you guys back up here. I want my general here in the back. Let's just get the infantry lined up for the assault. And some more infantry on the left here. I'm just going to keep this nice and simple. Hole in the fort and charge in. Alright, let's get this thing started. Round shot. Right there at the wall. Howitzers, fire some uh, quick lime on all these troops over here. Great hits from the quick lime immediately. And 8% damage for the wall. Everybody else just hang out and wait for marching orders. And there's some return cannon fire from the top of the walls. Thirteen percent damage. We're getting there slowly. How oh, is fire on that garrison infantry right there? Thankfully, their small cannons on the wall are not very accurate, especially at distance. Twenty more losses thanks to the quick lime. I'm just gonna speed this up and punch right through that fort wall. They have managed to hit a few of my 
uh, transportation horses for my cannon. I'm going to go ahead and get more round shot from the howitzers firing on that wall. We're actually down a cannon now, so I'm getting tired of these guys on the walls with their inaccurate but always firing cannons. 23% damage. Cannons, go, go, go. I've only lost a handful of men, but those cannons are super important. Tell you what, guys, I'm just going to skip ahead until I break the hole because... I'm not moving from these lines until that hole is opened up. Although with that many troops concentrated on the left, I could go right just a bit. There we go, 37%, and the troops on the wall are starting to take some just kind of ambient damage from all of that round shot damage to the walls. 46%, 50%, and their armies are taking quite a few losses there, and their cannons are finally silenced, it looks like. Infantry, go ahead and start climbing these walls. Republican Guard, that includes you. Light Infantry, take up this wall. A lot of this army is probably going to die in the assault. But we really don't have that much of a choice. Let's keep an extra regiment of horse back here as security as the infantry move in. There go the ropes and the grappling hooks and here comes the garrison line infantry. They have quite a lot of horse. I'm going to actually have my light infantry put some pikes down out here first before they climb up with their grappling hooks. Artillery, fire some quick lime on these troops. And we're about to smash through the wall right here at 85% damage. We're hitting their garrison line infantry from two sides at once. Not bad. Eighty-seven percent damage on the wall. Light infantry deploy stakes. K 
cavalry, go ahead and line up and get ready for their charges out of the gate. Come on, cannons. 92%. Smash through. 94%. A militia charge out the gate on the side there. Interesting. Howitzers, fire. Fire down. Okay, we have our stakes out here in the front. And here comes the horse. Let's actually fall back here. And Republican Guard get into square formation. Line infantry, square formation. Wow, the militia are getting slaughtered. 110 men dead already. And we are through the wall. That's more like it. Infantry, take this building. You guys. Oh, square formation. And I just quick limed my own lines right there. Garrison line infantry are finally starting to take significant losses over here. Republican Guard. Go ahead and march in over here. Light infantry, take the walls. Kill these horse guards. Swedish forces are starting to break. Come on, man, you can do it. We have another horse charge coming out of this gate. Let's get into square formation back here. And that unit of horse is broken right there. You guys charge in against that light infantry. Everybody over here go melee. Take them out. Come on, line infantry, fire, you're in square formation. Fire! And it looks like they're actually deploying their cannons finally. All forces charge in the walls here. Line infantry line up along the walls. Republican guard. Climb up right here. 
light infantry right here. And it looks like the Swedish forces are just barely going to hold the wall over here on the right. All cannons target those men on the walls. It's a bit of a mess, but... That's probably the best thing I can do with those cannons right now. Where's my light infantry in here? That's line, line, Republican Guard. You guys attack that light infantry. Light infantry, take up residence right there. Light infantry here. Whoa, more destruction. Line infantry, there you go, engage those horse. Ooh, and we have some quick lime coming from their cannons now. Nasty stuff. Square formation then. Square formation, Republican Guard. Get up here and get into square formation as well. Republican Guard, attack the line infantry. Come on, you guys have to break here. Cavalry, I want you charging through the gates, or through the open hole here, and hitting their artillery immediately. Regiment of Horse. Yeah, I'll bring you in too. Oh, hello, Cavalry. Gotta watch those reinforcements. Wow, what a mess in here. And it looks like they have some pikes down there as well. I'm gonna move all my cannons up here. Talk about a brutal fight for Stockholm. Come on, light infantry. If we can just get some of these cavalry away from you, you could deploy more spikes. Got a bit of a traffic jam going on here now too. Line infantry on the walls here. Break out, break out, break out. Republican Guard along the wall here. Get out of there. Okay, cannons. I want you guys up here. Howitzers up here. General up here. Light infantry to protect all of that up here as well. I think I sent in one too many of my cavalry units too. Regiment of Horse, go ahead and pull back. I need you for defense. Right 
And light infantry, let's also put you putting some spikes down right there. Ah, another fresh regiment of foot. This is not good. What a mess. My first reinforcing unit was my second general. I don't want him on the battlefield. I want uh, battle units basically as quickly as possible. So I'm going to withdraw him and get this cannon instead. Yes, it's a howitzer. Let's get you up here and dropping some artillery as quickly as possible. I'm going to send in my general's bodyguard to take out that light infantry right there. Wow, what an absolute mess. Line infantry, take this building, and you guys just hold here and keep firing. Republican Guard, take the wall here. Line Infantry, attack this unit right here of Line Infantry. Cancer Shot, do not fire at our general. You just hold your fire in general. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, here we go. Republican Guard and Line Infantry reinforcing. Need to get some cavalry in there and get those puckle guns destroyed. Can my Light Infantry hit them? Let's find out. Whoa, my general just almost died. Lost three-fourths of his uh, guard in one blow right there. This is actually one of the more intense fort battles I've ever fought in this game. It's actually a bit of back and forth here. Ooh, I own this side gate. This is my chance right here. I'm just going to bring those dragoons right in the side. Oh, where'd you guys come from? Light horse. Right as I got the spikes down too, I think it got a few of the horse. That's going to cost me my artillery though. And now my general's exposed as well. Foot guards, Republican guard. Nice move. Sweden with the mounted horse right there. That's all of my artillery back here. Howitzers, I want you to fire on their cannon as soon as possible. Or no. Fire on these uh, line of infantry right there. And their light foot is attacking my light infantry in that building. Down to 14 light infantry in this building. And their puckle guns are still at full strength. Where are my dragoons? Here they come. 
attack the puckle guns first. Second unit of light dragoons, get in there as well. I just start on one side and work my way across. Infantry, take this building, what's left of it. I'll just ignore that foot over on that side. And my general is going to make a last stand right here. Unless I can get in here and save him. I have lost the headquarters building. And one of my generals has died in battle before the cavalry could get there and rescue him. Wow, what a massacre here in the open uh, wound in the fort. Let's assault that building next. Come on guys, get in there and kill those puckle guns. I think I'll be able to actually take the center here uh, before Swedish reinforcements arrive. Line infantry, I want you to make a stand here. And we have killed one of their generals at last. Republican Guard. I want you in this gatehouse right there as quickly as possible. Hey, we have our puckle guns now. Let's get you guys in there as well. Where are my light dragons going? So many retreating units, good grief. Republican Guard, charge their light infantry right there. Dragoons, how are you guys doing back here? I'm gonna have my dragoons no longer engage in hand-to-hand -hand melee and use their rifles instead. Bayonet, charge them from behind, do it! Yeah, this battle is definitely just brutality. Good, more horse, get in here. Twelve hundred artillery, what am I gonna do with you? Mortar battery. How far does your quick line reach? Not super far. So I'll get you attacking... Oh man, here come the infantry. question is, can I take this center of the fort and hold it? They're going to be coming in this gate right here. And I've lost a unit of dragoons right there. I want my general in here as well. Oh, it's yours. I want you to also fire right there at the entrance. Regiment of horse engage. How is this cannon still alive? 
Come on, guys, take the center, take it. Republican Guard, take the tower. Line infantry, square formation. There goes that militia. You guys in this tower. This is just becoming more and more of a mess. I want to focus my cannon's fire right here at the gate. You actually need to move up just a bit. There we go. We have the center of the fort, but it looks like the Swedish are charging in from the side with a cavalry unit. And they have reset the timer. Republican Guard square formation. Let's take this burning mess of a fort. That's a lot of artillery. I'm gonna withdraw the mortars. Withdraw the extra 12 pounder. Get the light infantry up here as quickly as possible. Who is still here in the center? Attack the dragoons, attack them. General. Come this way and attack this Swedish unit of cavalry from behind. A lot of their next round of reinforcements is going to be their artillery, which is way back there, so I think now is my best chance to get in here and hold the center. They have a lot of infantry coming, though. A lot. Howitzers move up to here. General, try and break this unit of dragons right here. Got to get control of the fort. Whoa, rockets from the Swedish. That was unexpected. Alright, General, don't go too crazy. Right here is focus. Militia, march on in here. We're actually running low on time to win this battle. How is that one cannon still alive right there? Buckle guns, I want you guys right here on the corner. 12 pounder artillery, right here. Come on, one dragoon left, get rid of them, get rid of them. Kill that last guy in the cannon, please. General, fall back. And the timer is ticking once again. The heroic 23rd Regiment of Horse holding the line against all of this infantry. I can't even tell whose cannon fire is whose anymore. This is just madness. Republican Guard, form up. Fire on the Swedish infantry. Yep, they have a lot of cannons backing them up now, and that's about it. At least for now, I think we have time to win this, though. Save.
60 seconds, guys. 60 seconds. And the 23rd horse have broken at last. Well, we have Swedish line infantry, a large unit behind us here. General, get back inside the fort. Get to cover. Oh, don't pause the timer. Don't pause it. 22 seconds. 20 seconds and the timer is paused. Ugh. And we're being attacked in the rear. Regiment of horse. Charge that regiment of foot. There's almost 200 of them, though. Artillery, fire on the regiment of foot. 15 seconds, guys. Generals, bodyguard, attack the foot here in the center. And we are actually off the square. The combat moved us all the way off, so the timer has reset. It's two minutes once again. We now have line infantry pouring in behind us. Fire on them, fire on them. So we may have to wait until this large section of our line infantry is able to reinforce. Puckle guns, puckle guns hold. Oh no, they're right on top of you. Oh no. Not good, not good. Like I keep saying guys, utter madness. They have intercepted the puckle guns. That's a severe blow to our forces, for sure. The Puckle Guns would have helped solidify our control of the center, for sure. I got so busy trying to take the center that they got a unit all the way around me. Two units, actually, it looks like. Yep, two complete units of line infantry. Light infantry, get into this center building here. That guardhouse, that's one of our only chances. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe we lost our puckle guns. That's a just a huge, huge blow. You guys take the center and get into square formation. Everything is on fire. This is... Wild. <laughs> Howitzer. Um, let's do percussive shells. Drop those on this foot right there. Militia, charge in. Wait, did our. I was going to say, did our light infantry get caught? Where are they? Oh, they are caught in the gate. They're going to get routed. Line infantry in the center. Switch to square formation. There's one guy left. And some of the light made it to the armory at last. And we have lost... We have lost this last unit of horse in the back, but they did some nice damage to this line infantry. The wind timer is now ticking down, but there's almost no one left in the center of the fort to take it. This militia has to get here quickly. All you guys run, run, run. We're finally getting some good line infantry, but before long, they're going to have more troops coming as well.
Speaking of which, here comes the line infantry right in the back. Lightfoot, I actually want you up here and firing on these guys. 51 seconds and we'll win this. Here comes the line infantry and it looks like the Swedish forces are going to try and move to meet that threat. Only four seconds guys, I think this is it at last. Ten seconds, come on victory! And as the reinforcements arrive, we take a very costly victory and Stockholm is ours. Well guys, there you have it, a Pyrrhic victory. We deployed almost 8,000 troops, but we did lose 3,000. We almost entirely wiped out all of the Swedish defenders though. Top kills for that battle. Line infantry with 272, uh, 271, 254, Republican Guard with 170, and it just goes on from there. The siege is lifted! And the capital of Sweden now belongs to us. I'll take that 7,000 gold Sir. income next turn. Orders at the ready. Anything more? General Armstrong looks like Sir. he ranked up. But this first army has lost its commander. General David Palmer has died in the Siege of Stockholm, along with quite a bit of his army. Now, I'm trying to remember from last episode what I was spending money on because I need to get some of that back. There's so much replenishment that has to be done here. Regretfully, some of that's going to be my naval recruitment right there. And then probably, yeah, my cloth mill down here in Mexico as well. A few other new traits for my generals. You guys are in desperate need of replenishment. 8,000 to replenish. And I think the next thing that I'm going to repair is going to be... Um, Let's see, whatever keeps the population happy. Stockholm's slot for 3,300. Yes, at the ready. 938 for that army of mostly Marines. And of course I can't recruit this turn, just Sir. wait for those buildings to be repaired. Sir, make Orders. ready. Sir. Your orders? Yeah, we'll repair that one too, just to keep the people a little bit happier. Make ready. And with my strongest army. Ah, easy uh, we actually Wait can't attack them. We somehow use up all of our movement points this turn. So Sweden has taken Denmark back from us, but lost their capital. Their empire is still massive though. I'm wondering if I should take another couple of territories from them before I call it quits. Perhaps retake Denmark and then sue for peace. I only have those three injured armies in their territory and they have quite a few marching towards me now. Either way, we're out of time for this turn. Let's go ahead and just end that. See what happens. In the shadows.
And here we are in a new turn in the summer of 1846. First things first, we have a trade route being raided out here, and this is one of our transatlantic trade routes. That's not going to do. We need to stop that. That's really hurting our income. To do so, though, we're going to need two of our navies. There's one. Plenty of heavy first rates. Looks like I actually can't skip these notifications, so there we go. I'll just click on one enemy raid the Spanish here in the west part of France. For the second navy, there we go. Plenty of first rates. Ooh, and there's a Swedish navy out here as well. This is what happens, guys, when you're at war with most of the known world. One of our gentlemen has died, as well as one of our missionaries. Enemy raid there. And Swedish forces are surrounding Stockholm, as I expected, but... Plenty of recruitment in France and Pennsylvania the Netherlands and the Confederation of New England. Additionally, Munich is being besieged by the Austrians. That's going to cancel out all of that recruitment. Make ready. At the ready. So this army should just keep on rolling this way. Sir. As well as these reinforcements there. Pennsylvanian reinforcements. Where were you guys going? Algonquin territory, possibly? Yes. And some militia for up there, it looks like. Let's start things off by taking out this Austrian army that's up here. Defeat. This, guys, is why I always quick save before I auto resolve. That's a ridiculous roll from the AI. That's stupid. Uh, we'll just fight that one out. I'll reload the save. <laughs> and we're back. So let's get things set up for that battle once again. But we won't have time to actually fight it this turn. Uh, or this episode, for that matter. There we go. Outside of that area, the North America regions seem pretty quiet. Central America is nice and quiet as we maintain our occupation of Mexico. And France and Great Britain are actually behaving in Central America. Good. Going back to Europe. I still can't recruit units due to all the destruction, so I want to get all this repaired as soon as possible. Thankfully, the population is much happier this turn. Is everybody replenishing? You guys aren't just yet. I actually want this army, I think, to be off to the side. I'll put my best army here on the capital. And I'll give you guys... Wow, there's just no full units of troops left. Give you guys a bit of what I have just to fortify Stockholm. Do they have a university? They do. I actually can't bulldoze it because one of their armies is protecting it. But if possible, I will bulldoze it uh, next turn, maybe. Uh, it looks like that the capital is being besieged here in Munich. 
I'll get this army within reinforcement range. And we'll take them out as well. Here in the south. Spain is occupying uh, Turin and Milan. And I believe my plan was to strike out at those first. Get these territories either under my wing for the money to finance all these wars or just to maybe give it away to France or Great Britain and then I'll move out from there. Troop recruitment needs to continue across the board. Here we go. That is the start of an army right there. It does look like my forces in Sweden are going to have to hold the line on their own. And all of the Swedish forces are approaching. I do have two navies just offshore, so if it comes down to it, I could charge in there and get them uh, on an escape route. If it comes down to that, but I think I can replenish as they march in and hold them off. The key is going to be get these repairs done in the capital and get more troops recruited as well. Do we have a rocket ship in this ridiculous first rate navy? I don't think so. Uh, no rocket ships in either navy. Wait, no, there's one. Let's swap this carronaded frigate for a rocket ship. Those are super helpful for fighting these giant stacks of first rates, as I found. So I think the first thing for this turn, as far as battles go, is to take out this raiding navy. And it's going to be a pretty pitched battle. And it's going to have to wait until next time, guys. Sorry, but we're definitely out of time. That was a ridiculous, but actually very fun fort battle. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.